Yo, what is going on guys? I am bringing you another wager. Huge shout out to Hut Puck Traders for a fast and reliable service. But this time, we are going up against Chris Squash. Never really played him, wasn't really sure what I was going up against. It was for 100,000 pucks though, but I wasn't sure how good his team was, or I never really played him and didn't know how good he was at the game. But we move into the first period, and we take a pretty bad penalty there. It doesn't matter, he's still going to control the puck and get the pass to Nielsen, who scores a sort of a weak goal to give up from Bishop, but... He scores, 1-0. We get a shot there, his goalie makes a good save, and then Hemsky is there for the rebound slash pass. We got the shot off, it rebounded, but then we got the pass to Hemsky, and it was a tie game. At that point, 1-1. He comes on down with Tavares and just snipes it. Eh, eh, goal definitely for sure. Bishop, he should have had that, but again, some of these goals you just cannot stop in this game. Niskanen takes a little shot, his goalie makes a save, we get the puck back. Little drop pass to Grabowski, who picks it up to Gabrick. Gabrick to Bowmeister and Bowmeister. Nothing really in front. Maybe there was a slight screen, but nothing there. But we do score to make it 2 2. And Giroud just skates right by, controlling the puck behind the net, sort of. And scores on a 5 on 3 in his favor. And Niskanen, who's a great card, does score to make it 4 2 to really put the game away, in my opinion. And with the 8 minutes left, Giroud's going to sauce this to Duchesne. And Duchesne is just going to tap it in. And 5 2. This game is pretty much over. Again, let me, it's not completely over right now. We are still uh, still trying to score, and Gabrick is going to continue that by scoring again. But the thing about wagers with me is many people might be like, oh, you're not good at this game and stuff like that because I've not been doing too good in wagers, but I'm going to be completely honest. I have not felt comfortable playing with the team. Besides this game right here, it was 7-2. We finally played really good. I lowered my team. I got rid of Ovechkin and stuff. My team definitely got worse, but I still liked how they were playing and stuff like that. And we outshot him, we outplayed him, and all this stuff like that. So I finally felt good. I was feeling confident. And then I was about to take the 100k until he offered a double or nothing. And after playing this game, I was like, okay, if we play right now, I'll feel confident. So we go into this game after scoring seven goals. He just changes his goalie, and I believe that is it. And I was like, okay, we got this. So we're going to give it to Gabrick. And Gabrick is going to almost get to this puck and give it back to Grabowski, to Grabowski, to Kreider. And Kreider does not get the shot off. And he's going to take the puck into the zone with a nice little 360 there, a little spinorama. And then that nice move to get through two people to Kuhlman, and Larson just pokes the puck away. That could have been a scary moment, but Larson is going to throw it all the way up to Kreider. Kreider walks in and doesn't really get anything. The puck sort of just goes right back to his player there, and Strom somehow gets it like three times there. And then Larson's stick breaks out of nowhere, <sighs> and then they score there to give him a 1-0 lead all the way into the end all well, the middle stages of the third period we get a breakaway a nice little sauce to duchene backhand and nothing i don't know what i was doing there but definitely wasn't a great shot by me but we get a five on three for almost a full two minutes with eight minutes left trying to create some chances trying to get the tying goal duchene keeps the puck in and a shot from jeru that could have went in but his goalie saves him larson's gonna get it to fanuf fanuf's gonna get it almost trickles in and the rebound doesn't go either and we're just trying to get everything at the net as we can and he finally gets it out, and that's going to kill about half the time on his power, on our power play, I should say. So, 1.05 to go. Larson's going to sauce it up to Duchesne. Duchesne to Giroux, and it didn't shoot there. I don't really know why, but we're just trying to, trying to create some good shots, not just throw everything at the net, but maybe that should have been the better idea. But another shot there that does not go through, and Fanoff's just going to keep poking it, finally getting it to Giroux. Giroux gets the shot and the rebound, and nothing there, and he's going to finally throw it out. That is pretty much going to kill his penalty kill, his 5-on-3. <laughs> but with 20 seconds left, Camilleri is going to try to walk it into the zone and create something with it. Kind of an unnecessary deke there, but still. And Camilleri is just going to try to wait him out. Get the puck over to Havlat. Havlat to Kessler to Camilleri. And his goalie makes another incredible save. Nothing too spectacular, but still a pretty good save that usually goes in. Especially from like Camilleri, 92 overall. He's got like 95 uh, shooting. But it does not go in, and... That is going to be it for this game. We lose because we can't score one goal. We lose one nothing after scoring seven the game before that. He puts in, I don't even remember what goalie that was, but he was the 76 overall silver goalie who shuts us out. And we're going to lose this game. We don't have to pay him 100k, but we don't get the 100k we wanted. And we come up with a loss basically. We had 18 shots and we didn't score one. Chad Johnson is the goalie and he just dominated us really. <sighs> another wager we lost. I mean, we did win the first game. We didn't have to pay any pucks, but another game I felt we should have won. I thought I outplayed him, and we come away with the loss. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and I will see you guys later. I gotta stay home.